Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating interrater reliability using Cohen's Kappa in SPSS. Cohen's Kappa allows us to evaluate interrater reliability when we have nominal or ordinal variables. So, like the case I have here, I have a current instrument and an experimental instrument. And let's assume that both instruments are designed to determine if a participant has a personality disorder or they do not. So it can return one of two values, uh, zero, which is no personality disorder, or one, which means there is a personality disorder. And we'll assume that the current instrument is highly reliable and valid, and we want to test how well the experimental instrument did in comparison to the current instrument. That is, we want to evaluate the interrater reliability between these two instruments. We also want to be able to determine the sensitivity and specificity. All right, so sensitivity is the percent of cases with a personality disorder, in this case, that were correctly diagnosed, whereas specificity is the percent without a diagnosis, without a personality disorder, that were correctly diagnosed. So to calculate Cohen's kappa and to take a look at the sensitivity and the specificity, we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, then Cross Tabs. Now since our current instrument is the one we, we know is highly reliable and valid, we're going to move that to the column. So that's going to go down here to column. And the experimental instrument, the one we're testing out, will go to the row. Then under statistics, the only thing I'm going to check here is kappa. That's Cohen's kappa. Press continue. Then under cells, the observed counts are already displayed. I'm just going to add the percentages for the row and column. And then click continue. And format and style, I'm going to leave by default. And display clustered bar charts and suppressed tables, I'm going to leave unchecked by default. So from cross tabs, I'm going to click OK to run the analysis. So you can see that I have 40 cases. Right? N is 40, and 100% are valid, so no problems there. Moving down to the cross tabulation, this is where we would determine sensitivity and specificity. But before I go to analyze this table, let me move to the last table and evaluate Cohen's kappa. So we, we can see there is statistical significance here, and the value of kappa is 0.552. So in considering interrater reliability, if the value of kappa exceeds 0.5, that's considered moderate interrater reliability. Above 0.7 would be good and above 0.8 would be excellent. So at 0.552, we would say the interreliability rating between the current instrument and the experimental instrument is moderate. So now knowing that, we can move back up to the experimental instrument times current instrument cross tabulation. So first, let's identify the correct statistic for sensitivity, the correct percent. So the way we do that is we, when we're looking at this table, we can see the current instrument is in the column where we put it, and the experiment, experimental instrument is in the row. So if we look down here at the total, we can see with the current instrument that 21 of the 40 cases were correctly identified as having a personality disorder. Remember, we're going to assume that the current instrument is highly reliable and valid. So then we move up here for sensitivity and look for personality disorder, and then personality disorder in the row. So personality disorder in the column, the current instrument, and in the row. And look for that intersection within, so it's percent within the current instrument. And you can see it's 71.4. 
that value represents our sensitivity. So that's the percent of cases that did have a personality disorder and were correctly diagnosed. So the sensitivity of the experimental instrument is 71.4%. So its specificity, we're looking for the percent that did not get diagnosed and that was correct. So the percent of cases that did not get a diagnosis of a personality disorder and that in fact was correct. So looking again at the column, we can see the number that did not get a diagnosis when they should not have is 19 for the current instrument. And when looking for the specificity, we want to look for an intersection of, in this case, no personality disorder in the row and no personality disorder in the column, the current instrument. And then look for the percent within current instrument value, and that's 84.2%. So in this case, the specificity of the experimental instrument is 84.2%. So it's a bit higher than the sensitivity of the experimental instrument. So just to show you where these percents come from, if we go back to the sensitivity and we look at personality disorder uh, column and personality disorder row, we have that 71.4% sensitivity. That's the count of 15 divided by the count of 21. And similarly, when looking at the specificity, which was 84.2%, that's the count of 16 divided by the count of 19. So again, overall, looking at this inter-rater reliability, we would say we have moderate inter-rater reliability because the value is 0.552 and the cutoff for moderate is 0.5. And we have 71.4% sensitivity and 84.2% specificity. I hope you found this video on calculating inter-rater reliability using Cohen's Kappa to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.